part of the lesson today is you doing a simulation. And a simulation is like an experiment where you try to imitate what would happen in real life. It's like the fake version of something. So we turn on lights to simulate the sun because we don't have control over the sun. We have control over lights. In this case, you're going to simulate the game that I explained in the first video, the game where I just roll dice and you guess. You're going to simulate that by rolling two dice over and over and over again and recording what number you get so you can see which numbers you should guess. What you need are two dice. If you don't have two dice, that's totally fine. There's a website that you can go to that is just the same as rolling two dice. But if you've got board games, it's more fun to do it in real life. So dig through your board games, find some dice and a paper and a pencil. What you're going to do is set a timer for five minutes and just roll your dice for five minutes and record what you get. I recommend that you kind of on your paper make something that looks like this with all the possible options. You can roll a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, all the way to 12. And when you roll, just make tally marks for each number. So I'll show you a couple. I roll, I get a one and a five, which is a six. So I put a tally mark, mark next to the six. I roll again, I get a five and a five, which is 10. So if I had a 10 down here, I put a tally mark next to the 10. I roll again, I get a five and a four, which is nine. So I put a tally mark next to the nine. Just do that for five minutes. When I did it, I managed to roll my dice 80 times. Yours might be more or less than that. And you're gonna collect this data. It is super, super important that you hold on to this piece of paper with your data on it. You need it tomorrow. So don't lose it. Do the simulation, record your data, and then head to the exit ticket and I will ask you for all of your data and for you to do a little bit of thinking about your data. So that's it. You need dice or the website, a paper and pencil, and the directions are written on the slide too. So read those to make sure you really know what you're doing and get started.